And so I went to MCW University and I cooked up the number one MCW setup. Ladies and gentlemen, this build is about to take over Modern Warfare 3. It is so broken, so meta. This is going to be your guys' go-to setup. I guarantee you that. So with every single MCW build that you see from me, 99% of the time, we are going to be adding the Cyclone Barrel. The reason for that is that this gun really doesn't have that much damage range. If we take a look at the effective damage range, it's only 26.7 meters and the headshot damage is about 44. Our player health is 150. Do 150 divided by 44. It's going to be about a four shot kill if you mix in some headshots in there, but that's only going to be up to 26.7 meters. When we do add the Cyclone Barrel, this can increase that by 21.3%. It makes it so it's uh, about four shot kill up to 32.3 meters, making this thing so much better. By the way, do you want everything in Modern Warfare 3, but you're just a little too busy? Then I would definitely check out Guapsi. Guapsi is a very reliable company where they will play in your account to unlock whatever you want. Definitely check them out and see what they have to offer. I'll have their link in the description. But since the Cyclone Barrel is going to be bringing down the strafe speed, which that strafe speed is super important. You always want to strafe in your gunfights. Gives you that rotational aim assist, makes you a harder target to hit. And so when we do add the Venom stock, it's going to be a lot harder for the enemies to hit you. Plus, you are going to get more aim assist now because our strafe speed is going to get increased. Plus, our overall mobility gets a pretty big increase. Now, our strafe speed is very quick. This kind of feels like a submachine gun. Mobility is very good to where you can use it like an SMG. And we get that uh, that damage range. So it's going to be killing very quick at range, making it one of the best guns in the game. But if we take a look at these iron sights, I really don't like the iron sights. Let me know in the comments. Do you like the iron sights on the MCW? Like at times I can get away with them, but I just feel like they're so clunky. And especially if you have like these camos on there, it just makes it very difficult to use. And so I usually like to add the Cronin, the Slate Reflector, the Slimline Pro, Cronin Mini Pro, or the MK3 Reflector. Neither model is cool too, but aesthetically, it just looks very ugly. Like that round just does not look good to where it makes me feel like I'm missing shots. But also it's like probably the cleanest sight in the game. So I still do rock it a lot. But overall, I do notice myself doing better with the MK3 Reflector. Also, one thing that I noticed that the pro players were saying is that the MK3 Reflector seems to reduce the recoil, even though it does it. It just seems to do that. And so it's better if you're using this gun at like medium and long range. And then if you're using this thing like an smg the slate reflector actually works out a little bit better for that there's no data to really back that up that's just like what the pro players are saying and the pro players get paid so much money to play this game and learn everything about it or i usually kind of listen to what they're saying so from here it's really going to be a personal preference thing like you have the stock on there so you can run around a little bit quicker you can play the public matches you know a little bit more aggressively and then we do have the barrel to increase that damage range and then i guess the optic could be a personal preference thing it's just the iron sights are so ugly that it just blows my mind that people actually want to use the iron sights but to each their own so from here i am going to be adding a magazine since in public matches i always run out of ammo in public matches usually i'm better than everyone with spmm it gets a little bit tough but overall you can kind of play a more aggressive you can get into more engagements and you're shooting out more shots especially if you are on that 12v12 mode and so a lot of the time i do find myself needing more ammo but when i do add the 40 that solves all my problems yes we are losing some mobility but that's another reason why i'm adding that stock to counteract the mobility loss uh, that we are getting with this magazine. We do have a 60 round mag option, but the 60 round is going to make you feel so overweight. Like I just do not like the 60 and I just really don't think it's worth it unless you're on shipment and you're sitting back. So overall 40 round mag will save you a lot. Although if you are on like search and destroy and something, you don't really need the 40. So I'll give you a variation after I give you the full build. And now from here. So if you want to increase the recoil control, just make this thing a lot more stable. Then I would go over to the rear grip and I would add the RB claw PSL grip. This one's going to add a lot of firing aiming stability, and we are going to get a lot of recoil control, which the firing aiming stability, I say this in a lot of my videos, so sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I just need to get it in your guys' head. Firing aiming stability is so important because our gun is swaying right now, and that's going to continue to sway in the gunfight unless you have this grip on there. If you add that grip, it's going to severely reduce that sway, making it so you don't get any unpredictable recoil. All the recoil that you get, you actually can... can, can you actually can control making this thing so much easier to use. Yes, we're losing aiming out of sway, but we're getting firing aiming stability, which is the one that's actually important. But I am not rocking on the gameplay because in public matches, I found that I don't really need that much recoil control. Hence the reason we have the Venom stock on there. I would not add a laser. If you are going to add a laser, I would add the other optic that I was mentioning to you guys before that Cronin. Dude, why is there so many optics in this game? Like 
It's way too many. I think it's cool that they like combine things, but it's just way too cluttered now. So with the Corona Insulas, you're actually going to get a built-in laser and you get some stability and ADSP, which is what the lasers give us. Plus, the reticle is actually going to be so clean. I absolutely love how open it looks. Now, say you want to add a suppressor. Usually, we would add the Shadow Shark suppressor because this one is going to hide you from the radar. And so then you can run around the map. You can get kills. You can fire your weapon all you want, and you're not going to show up as a red dot. Plus, the enemies can't really hear you making MGB is actually a lot easier. But but, you know, I actually do really like the Sonic Suppressor because this one gives you damage range and bowl velocity, making this thing more responsive and kill quicker at range. Yes, we are losing some of our handling and our recoil control, but, you know, it's only about 2%, so you don't really notice it that much to where I actually been running the Sonic on a lot of my guns. Although, if you are having a hard time using this gun, I honestly would take off the Sonic and then I would add the Shadow Strike Suppressor, which is not going to have any cons, but then not as many pros. And so it's a pretty balanced one. What you guys could even do is... um is add that suppressor take off the 40 round mag and then add that rear grip i was telling you guys about that's another very very good build there is a lot of muzzles that would give you a lot of recoil control that's not like a suppressor but i just don't really think you need it for the public matches if i were to run one i would run the l4r flash hider or i would add the bladed break when i'm playing like comp like gbs and stuff like that and playing against really sweaty guys usually i'll throw on the bladed break because this one eliminates all vertical recoil and so then you'll never miss a shot making this thing very easy to use at range but overall pubs you don't really need that much recoil control and so now i think i went over all that oh uh, if you want to increase mobility like you're using this thing and you're like you know i just want to run around a little bit quicker then i would add the uh, the dr6 hand stop this one increases the mobility and the handling without really having any cons at all and so this is like my go-to underbrow if i am going to increase mobility I believe a lot of the pros are running the X10 5 hand stop. I will give you guys an updated pro build pretty soon, probably in like a week or two. I think they're running this one because it gives you mobility and recoil control. And so this is another very good build that I absolutely love. But the one that I am rocking in the gameplay, I am running running an ammunition, which the ammunition I'm going to be running in both gameplays. In the first gameplay, I'm running the high green. In the second gameplay, I'm running the overpressured. So if you're on like a smaller map like Meat or Rust, basically where you're not going to really get into too many long range engagements then i really would run the overpressured rounds these ones are so fun because it gives the enemies 80 percent more flinch like they're shooting at you you hit one bullet on them and they start having like a seizure or something and it just makes it a lot easier to win gunfights so you guys will see that in the second gameplay i won a lot of gunfights because i start shooting at the enemy and they can't hit their shots it's super toxic and very funny if i'm on shipment i'll usually run the armor piercing so then i can pierce through the crates a little bit quicker high velocity really isn't worth it that much at that point i would just add the high grain rounds which in the first gameplay i'm running the high grain rounds now we have a damage range of 37.2 meters giving us about a four shot kill up to 37.2 meters and so now if you guys do want a screenshot of the build this is the one i'm rocking in the first gameplay the one i'm rocking in the second gameplay is going to be the over pressured rounds if you guys want like the overall best one for 4v4 like this is going to be the meta one in rank play for the secondary i'm not rocking this in the gameplay but i did just level this thing up and make this build this thing is so fun to use it's also really bad snake shot i will give you guys a snake shot build for it soon you guys can add a kimbo then go down to the ammunition then add the snake shot that is super super broken but i've been having a really good time with this one i feel so satisfying like this thing is literally like a pocket sniper it's not like that good like i would rather use like the renetian things but as you guys can see you can one shot up to long range and then i'm running the stim semitex munitions box if i'm not going for mgbs or i'm just dying a bunch then i usually run the tack and and trophy system or the ddos the ddos is very fun it's like an emp that you can just call into a building it'll tell you how many players the emp'd and then it really disables them making it very easy to kind of take out that room running the marksman gloves so i'm a little bit more accurate at range if i'm playing very aggressive i'll run the assault gloves and then a scavenger gloves is helpful too if i'm not running the munitions box and then uh, for the boots i'm running covert sneakers so the enemies don't really hear where i'm at i do want to use some other ones and i do like when i'm not making videos i do use other ones it's just if i'm going for mgbs might as well use like the best of the best and like my favorite stuff and then for the gear i'm running the eod because i always get spammed with nades bone conduction is pretty nice because you can really hear where the enemies are at and then ghost is also nice but another way you guys could get ghosts is by swapping out the infantry vest for the assassin's vest which the assassin's vest you can literally just lay down you cannot move you can do whatever you want and if there's a radar up you're not going to show up on the radar which makes it very easy to kind of like finesse the enemies and things the difference between this and ghost is that ghost is that you have to be moving for you to not be on the radar when the enemy has a uav although i think they just buffed it to where you actually can like sit still for two minutes i mean for two 
two seconds and you still won't be on the radar so you don't have to constantly be moving but overall this is the stuff i'm rocking now let's get into the nasty mgbs yo ladies and gentlemen this camo is looking pretty clean if you're curious how to get it i think you get it from like completing raid two on modern warfare 2 i don't think you can really get it anymore maybe you can i'm not too sure if you check out guapsi the company that sponsors me they might have it listed on there where they can go on the game and grind it for you on modern warfare 2 yo you guys just afk what is this Yo, that accuracy was horrible. I swear, my aim assist was gone. And yes, I need aim assist. I'm on controller. I have a fucking joystick, dude. I have a joystick. Imagine you controlling your whole entire mouse, if you're on mouse and keyboard, with your just two fingers. No, absolutely not. Okay, we got the helo. Let's call this. I'm just going to stay up here for a sec. I don't know if I can stay up here anymore. You can get a lot of kills up here, but you don't want to be up here too much because then the whole enemy team is just going to be drilling your ass. And that sounds crazy. Yeah, you'd never want that. What the fuck? Never in your life. What the fuck? Guys, I'm trying to warm up. Calm down. Let me warm up. This is my first game, but second game on of the day. I need the warm up and I don't have any ammo and I got to mute these guys all my days. Okay, let's see if we can focus. This build, fucking love this thing, dude. There's so much mobility and so much ammo and just like still a lot of recoil. What happened to me? What is wrong with me? Why is my accuracy so bad? People are going to be like, oh, this guy's ass. So I, I can beat him. No, dude, I literally have a video of me beating Octane. Freaking Octane. He was the MVP player on Vanguard. Played for the LA Thieves pro player. Everyone knows him that's in the comp scene. I literally have a video of me beating him and gunless in rank play. Given, you know, I had my full team and then he had two randoms. But I still killed him. I still killed gunless. I was still, you know, winning. I don't want to talk about the match before that, though, in Hardpoint. They might have kind of world started me, but... Bro, give me more ammo. That's one thing in this game. I need fucking more ammo. And you know what? My settings actually might be a little bit messed up. So I was doing game battles yesterday on stream, which, you know, keep in mind, I didn't lose a single game battle, but we only did a few game battles. I couldn't use my account because it wanted me to link my Activision, and I couldn't sign into my Activision and when I went to go reset the password it said it sent me an email but it did not send me an email whatsoever and then I like was able to sign with through Battle.net but then it wants me to use my authent my authentication codes to be able to log in and I, I made this account like in fucking 10 BC like so long ago I don't have my authentication codes are you kidding me and so it was just uh you know okay where are these guys at and I had to use someone else's account, which whenever you log out of your account, log into someone else's, it can reset your settings. And I feel like I'm on dynamic right now. And I really hope I am on dynamic. Really hope I'm on dynamic because if I'm not, then I have no excuse for my aim being bad besides, you know, first game on. But MGB, let's go, boys. Leave a like. And if you want the best builds in the game, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is actually crazy that we're literally at almost 100,000 thousand and the support recently on the videos has been unreal i've never seen like this um, this amount of support in my life and so yo massive shout out to you guys massive shout out to the ogs mr skip mr cool jag mr mr jalapeno lightning mcqueen amir skip reese i know i'm missing so many of you but there's just too many ogs we got too many good supporters okay guys we might ah! okay i don't know where you came from now it's time to check out to see how our settings are messed up if you do want the best settings, make sure you check out one of my videos. 0.9, dynamic. Okay, it looks like, guys, we just had really bad accuracy. That means we're just, you know, we're a little shocked. But fingers are cold. I should have warmed up before the video. It's just like first game on, you can, you can, like, I swear, I get, like, a nice lobby every time first game on. And so I was like, I need to just be able to get a, you know, hopefully we can pop off in our first games, which, you know, we kind of did. We got the nuke. Let's go, boys. This build, probably my favorite pub one. I try to make it without a sight. I try to make it without a sight, but it's just like too awkward to use the gun without a sight. Like against bad players, it doesn't really matter. But like against good players, I kind of need a sight. And if the players are really good, I'll, I'll usually just use my competitive one. There we go. There we go. I think they're all over here. I hope my team starts capturing all these flags. I wish my team was a little bit worse at the game. Bro, where is my team coming from? I don't even know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on whatsoever. I just know we're beaming and we're going crazy. Yo, I'm actually kind of curious. Actually, no, I, I can't. I was going to say, 
what is your favorite build of the builds that I've given you? But it's not like there's a name for them or anything, so I can't really, you know, I, like, there's no way to answer that. But I really am curious of, like, like, that would be cool in the game if there was a way where you could share builds. If there was, like, a community area where you could share builds and then you could, like, download the builds. So then I guess there wouldn't really be a point of the video. So I guess I hope that's not a feature. But that would be a pretty cool feature. That would be a very, very cool one. Because then, you know, I could see how many times people use my builds or download my builds. Like, that would be so far. Kind of like on Fortnite, how you can, like, make maps and people can download your maps. Something like that, but for the builds in Call of Duty. But I don't think they'll ever do that. And I kind of hope they, they don't do that. So then, you know, my, I, if not, then then I'm done, guys. I have to go work at, like, you know, I, I got to go find a regular job. Are you dead? Oh, I guess I could still stream, but, you know. Okay. Oh, you know, we do have the second channel being edited right now. Things were happening and things weren't working out, but I got everything squared away. So everything's good now. And the video should be out pretty soon on there. It just, you know, I'm working with a few people. And so it's a little bit difficult to sometimes get on the same page when we're working on, um, like, this main channel and the other one. And I think I just stole that guy's kill. I feel really bad. Oh, God, dude. Okay, I should be able to get one more nuke in here. I feel like we're kind of fragging out. We're kind of popping off. We're obviously better than all these enemies. We should be able to do pretty good. We're about to get another helo. Let's go. Wait, is that a man? I think there's someone up there. Honestly, yeah, I, I need to get some high ground right now. I, teammates thinking the same exact thing as me. Thinking the same exact thing as me. I don't see anyone there. Teammates gonna murder that man up on top. Wait, wait. Okay, I thought he let that guy live. I thought there was two guys up there. I was like, wait, there's some teaming going on? What is this? Yo, I can't wait for the next game. The game after this one because I'm gonna be more warmed up. I'm not gonna feel as cold. Like, my fingers are freezy right now. We all know. Playing with cold fingers is very, very difficult. No! Yo, that would be fire if we had like an ammo type that would increase the fire rate of your gun. It would probably give it more recoil, but that would be super sick. I would love to do that. Overall, I like the high green runs the most, but if the gun's a little bit hard to use, they just all spawn right in my sights. The spawns are great. Sorry to change topics, but I think the spawns got adjusted. Like, I swear the spawns are getting like, they are worse after like a recent update or something. Like, the game does not feel like how it did like two weeks ago. Something's a little bit off. And so like I was saying, high green runs are nice, but if the gun is a little bit hard to use, like if I'm missing shots, I just can't hit my, you know, I just can't not control the recoil for some reason, then I'll throw in the overpressured rounds, or just on a small map, I'll throw in the overpressured rounds, because then it gives the enemies more flinch, so then it's actually a little bit harder for them to hit their shots, which actually is like kind of an asshole thing to do. I feel like an asshole whenever I use the, the overpressured rounds. It's so right there. I would rather have, like, okay, I guess the high green rounds did help me kill the guy a little bit quicker. It's just it was a little bit hard to control the gun. So I guess at that point, you need a muzzle. But right there, we just beam the guy. And if we add a muzzle, then we're losing like our damage range. And we're losing like mobility and things. And so that's kind of like why I give you guys so many different builds. Kind of just depends on however you feel in the moment. I change my builds all the time. All the freaking time. Okay. Yo, teammates still going crazy. I, I hope the enemies can capture some flags. So then there's a higher chance that they will win the game. Because if they win the game then i mean if they're about to win the game i can call in the mgb and that's like the funniest thing is when they think they're gonna win and then i call in the mgb there we go we got a lot of them center mass area unless they're i think they're yeah they're all going up top they all hear the swarm they all hear the bugs they're like yo gotta get the high ground right now high ground right now yo i think for next gameplay the play, actually you know what just in general i'm gonna throw in the high ground rounds i wish i no not the high ground I can't speak. I'm going to throw in the overpressured rounds for this next one. I probably should have used overpressured for this map because a lot of the engagements are pretty close quarters to where overpressure would probably help you a lot more. And yo, the feeds are in. The feeds are in. God damn. Where were you? I don't understand. Oh, I see. I see. You know what? I'm going to call in this helo. I was about to call in the MGB. But I'm going to call in the helo. Fuck him over a little bit more. And then I'll call in the MGB. I know our accuracy is getting a little bit better. So, yeah, I'm feeling like, you know, we're warming up a little bit more. We're kind of hitting our shots as I just miss every shot on that guy. At, like, 195, I'm called in. A lot of the time, if you want good accuracy, you need to have very good centering. That white down the center of your screen, you need to make sure that's on the enemy's chest. So, then all you have to do is ADS and fire. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, I'm going to call this MGB. 
before the game ends there's times where i wait a little bit too long and then the game ends and it's so sad because i'm like i'm trying to assert my dominance and then it's just not happening it's just not happening at all because the game just ends and i just look like an idiot okay wait what are you doing buddy what is that what are you doing oh i forgot to give you guys a different secondary shit well i gotta i gotta focus up and give you guys some new seconders on oh my days yo ggs guys ggs well done buddy I appreciate it. Yo, let's see this final score. 123 and 8. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Yo, ladies and gents, we are back. We're on some invasions. Honestly, invasion is one of my favorite maps in the game. A lot of people don't like it, but... Whoa. I love this map because the spawn traps are crazy. You always kind of know where the the enemy's gonna be at i swear i'm losing aim assist again what is this okay so i took off the high green rounds which the high green rounds would be really good on this map to add the overpressured rounds just to show you guys that this gun is very good overpressured obviously it is it doesn't do that much of a difference but it is pretty fun to use because it gives the enemies a little bit more flinch over just knows the fuck is this what are you doing why are you in the back what is going on are you playing ghost recon escape from darkov what is this? My nose is so itchy. My nose is unbelievably itchy right now. Oh, I'm freaking up the movement. Lay down, soldier. Whoa, where the whole time I was clicking the, the crouch button. I mean, I was holding the crouch button. That's crazy. There's like a weird delay at times. I don't know if it's like my controller or this game or something. Okay, we got the helo now. Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go. Wait, whoa. I thought that was an enemy. Bro, I am bamboozled. So, I had to take a little bit of a break to go, uh, you know, make a couple of noodles. Usually, I'm a little bit of a healthier eater, but I need some couple of noodles because, you know, it's just warm. And I was freezing. But now I feel a lot better. I feel nice and warm and just toasty. I feel like I'm going to get the best MGB I've ever gotten, even though I can't hit my shots for some reason today. Basically, if I don't have 100% accuracy, I'm like upset. I feel like at this point, my Call of Duty career, I should have 100% accuracy no matter what. Uh, customs. Uh, e Dog. No, dude. I'm not even. No. E Dog. What? I'm not, I'm not streaming. E Dog, if you're watching this, cool guy. But only when I'm streaming and only when I when the bar says that we are going to be doing it. And, like, you know, it's not all the time. It's just, like, you know, sometimes. Bro, my nose is so itchy. Oh, my days. Yo, we got the whole train coming in here. I'm about to get ran through. Nah, I'm running through them. I'm running through them, boys. Let's go, let's go. Dude, I hate that. I. <sighs> okay, there's a lot of kids that watch my videos. I'd rather have like a... Adult audience. But then also, it's like, you know, it's like a weird... It's hard to find a middle ground. Basically, I, I don't mind having younger people watch the videos and things. I think it's cool and everything that, like, you know, I'm their entertainment since when I was their age. I was, like, watching other YouTubers, and it's cool that now I'm in that position. But I don't want to have to filter myself at all. Or, like, if I say something weird, I don't want it to sound weird because, you know, I know there's a kid listening. But then, like, you know, there's always kids watching no matter what. So it's like a weird middle ground. I don't know. If you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments of, like, the best way to go about it. Yeah, you dead, buddy. You probably couldn't even hit a shot since I had the, the overpressure rounds on. I know he's right behind me. I just know they're over there, too. Well, what is going on? Where are these guys coming from? I want to use my swarm, but I don't think I, I, like I should because I know for a fact it's going to kill me. It's only going to kill me. Dude, honestly, I forgot this was an area. I've never gone inside this building, actually. On God, boys, I've never been inside this building. I haven't really played any comp yet. I'll be playing a lot of comp once competitive, like once the rank play comes out. You can do like CNGs, GBs, and things like that for comp, which I started doing a little bit, but I haven't done any comp on this map. And so I haven't really taken advantage of the entire map. And I'm usually just spawn trapping. Let's see this, though. Oh, look at that. I guarantee you, the overpressure actually right there just, like, came in clutch a lot. It's huh? a damn pity. It's a damn pity, he said. Come on. I'm, like, five kills off, and I have no ammo. That's always the biggest issue. It's just having enough. Stop! There's so much shit on the floor, dude. 
And current Call of Duty, they have so many things on the floor. Way too many things on the floor. I see his head. I think that's an actual player. I think he's watching. I think he's waiting for me. Okay, I think they're on C. They're not over here anymore. But I'm going to clear this area out. And I think there's a guy up here. Yeah, there is. Dude, I knew that guy was watching me. He's so bad at the game that he's actually good at the game. This is so sketchy. I hate running around with the pistol. Oh, I got ammo? Let's go, boys. Yo, I should be able to get this nuke. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, now I'm hyped. What? Well, my teammate's tweaking. You guys want to see a crazy spot? Look, see that, dude? This spot is insane. This spot is, like, so OP. Like, I'm surprised this is even in the game. Let me know if this was in the original Modern Warfare 2. I never had Xbox Live or anything, and... Never, uh, you know, I was just on that Wii Sports grind when I was younger. Bro, I want to push it. I don't want to be a bitch. I know I'm better than all these enemies. It's just the, the second you do one little weird thing, they're somehow going to lock onto your head and just murder you. We just hit fire. This is the time where you get no-scoped. The time where you get fucking no-scoped by just a random thing where there's a shotgun man up there and you don't expect that. Where are they at? I want to put them into a spawn trap. I want to get like a more aggressive gameplay. But just give me this nuke and then I'm chilling. There we go. There is the MGB. Now, boys, now we can spawn trap. Now I can relax. We can go crazy. Which sometimes I'd want to not even really care. Like I don't even really want to go for the MGB. I just want to see how many kills I can get. But like so many people want the, like they prefer the MGB. It's like kind of anticlimactic. If there is no MGB. No, I died by a man named Eagle Eye. Yo, never again, dude. Never again. I'm calling in my swarm. I'm about to spawn trap you. I'm feeling good. I don't feel too cold anymore. We're good now, boys. Oh, my days. And I cannot wait to bring the MCW ranked game plays. Against top players and iridescent. That shit's going to be nice. That shit's going to be so fun. I just like the competitive sense of like... Oh, you motherfucking swarm! It always does that to me. It's so annoying. God damn it, dude. Yo, I feel like this guy that's talking right now, I feel like he's going to low-key kind of freak out. He's just I feel like he's never actually seen an MGB. He's just going to be like mind blown. He's like, what's happening? Oh, that's an MGB, my man. Here, we can sit up on here. This is a good spot, too. This spot, you can really just let the enemy push you. There we go. Oh, no, he's actually again. Oh, my days. You dead. Yo, I feel like I should give you guys a better gameplay. But, you know, I, I gotta work on the second channel. I used to do a couple and then pick, like, the best nuke. But, you know, I just got shit to do. I got shit to do. And, you know, we got the MGB and I'm feeling good. Okay, we got all them back here. Is that a guy? That is a guy. I thought it was a dead body, man. We got a couple people up top. Well, what are they doing? What are they doing? These NPCs. So many... NPCs. We got Houdini. We got ghosts. Yeah, see, we're capturing every flag. No! Absolutely not. Let the enemies capture some flags. Let's make this game a little bit longer. Come on. Come on. You guys know you want to make it longer. We don't want to end the game this quick. Yeah, I have a second to get like a feed. Never mind. I got dome. Let's see this guy. This guy's just cracked. I guess he's better. I just saw everyone on C, and I was like, yo, I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to get a crazy feat. But we got a crazy MGB. Let's go, boys. And again, if you haven't already, hit the motherfucking subscribe button with the noties on. I love when you guys leave comments and everything at the beginning of, of a video. I read all the comments. I love them all. Is that guy? No, it's a motorcycle. Bro, this map, I'm seeing things. Everything blends in on this map. I see so many things, dude. Also, one thing I want to do is do a stream where we do like 1v1s. So like the whole stream, I'm just having you guys join. We do 1v1s. I feel like that would be fun. We did it on Modern Warfare 2. I don't think I lost the game. Given we only did, I think, about like, I think like 8 or 10 1v1s. But that would be fun to do like a bunch. Hey, yo, GG's guys. You nuked. Yo, a little 58 and 5. Not too shabby. Yeah. Jesus fuck, bro.